Lord Dung Ai. I just wanted to say. <coughs> you cannot fight in this state. Lord Xiao Yuan did a lot for me in the past. But when he was killed, I was unable to repay that debt. So I have to keep Wei safe. It was the only thing he wanted. <coughs> Somebody go and inform our lord at once! Come on, we've lost this thing. There's no point in sticking around here. They know when they are beaten. I... I swore... to my lord... that I would never give up until we had built a land of benevolence! It's all right. It's okay. Did you see that? That tenacity? Our father has left us with a few issues left to solve. <sighs> Why must people cling to their outdated ideals so stubbornly? For the future of Wei, your life must end here. You don't get it. It was Wei that tried to kill me. Or would you rather I say, I will kill you in the name of Shu? It pains me. Your father must be rolling in his grave. I don't think so. If I know my father, he'd be smiling. Come on, Blowhoy. Do you really have it in you to kill me? That is the intention. Hard as it is. Then get on with it. say that was a most unexpected turn of events shoo cannot afford to lose you I will hold them off Lord Guo Huai! You're dead! You... are going to kill me? You're going to overthrow our lord? Cut me down? Take the army for yourself? Just calm down. You and I, we've always got on pretty well. I don't think that has to change. But... But Lord Cao Shuang! The simple fact is... He was an incompetent fool. You don't even see that, cowering in fear. Your father was strong and brave. Forget house and bloodline. That is how a man and an officer should be. If you are truly his son, then that is what you should have inherited from him. Not his house, but his way of life. I'm sorry, Father! 
I've shamed your legacy. And you all, I've caused you trouble too. My apologies. I promise, I shall repay you in battle. Good. Then let's go home. To me. But Guo Huai, he really couldn't. <coughs> My lord. Are you okay? I have always walked a fine line between life and death. I fear that the time has come to finally cross that line. I'm so sorry. This... this is all my fault. It is as he said, my lord. You carry the lives of many on your shoulders. My life will be one burden you no longer have to bear. Stand against your fate and keep moving forward. <coughs> Ah, if only I could have seen you. <laughs> no! <laughs> she was finally started marching towards us! <laughs> Yes. It came much sooner than I thought. It hasn't been that long since the death of Liu Bei. This movement could only be possible with meticulous and precise planning. <coughs> Excuse me! Welcome, Master Sima Yi! After the loss of Jin, Shu was able to revive their alliance with Wu, and has managed to subdue the South. It was all preparation for their advance north. And it was directed by one man named Zhuge Liang. Are you sure? <coughs> so then, this army is also from Zhuge Liang. <coughs> Master Sima Yi, why do you appear so happy? I have a chance to face off against a most extraordinary opponent. How can I, who's long polished my skills, not be excited about that prospect? Come, Zhuge Liang. You will eventually discover that you have met your match in Sima Yi of Wei. <coughs> Master Shahoba, I'd like to inform you that I've been assigned to assume complete command of the Shu campaign. <coughs> okay, I'm listening. It is unfortunate about Master Shuang. I hope, Master Ba, that we can work together somehow to gain merit and earn the trust of Master Sima Shi. <coughs> it's Zhang. Look at him, he's training. It's awfully intense. It is this precise motion that makes possible such a splendid attack and defense. Do you see? Uh, yes. <gasps> Me too. <gasps> Master Sima Yi. Oh, well, why? Are you well enough to be going out already? I thank you for your considerate. <coughs> and my family, at least, is in good health at the moment. No, oh, I see. Well, I'm glad to hear that. My wife and I are forever grateful to you for your kindness. We shall never forget what you have done for us. 
will watch over you, and will watch over your family, and all of your posterity for as long as we possibly can. I, I thank you. <clears throat> you risked your life to save your wife. Make sure she knows how important she is to you. I thank you for your kind words, sir. <laughs> I am certain that your late wife is looking out for you. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> that I can do without. The only thing I really miss are her delicious meat buns. I wish you the best of luck, Master Sima'i. <coughs> I swear that from now on, I will love my precious wife with every last fiber of my being!